High season Korean markets are opening higher today. The Korean won is still, though, uh, near its 20-month low. Uh, the housing markets uh, also are in the focus with the uh, Financial Services Commission. The FSC's head uh, incoming yesterday, Im jong Young, has uh, said that he does not have any plans to relax housing market regulations. Uh, he's saying that uh, he will take some time to monitor the effects of any regulation changes in the housing markets before going through with them. This is coming even despite a lot of controversy and concern over household debt that's coming from uh, loans for their uh, housing 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 loans so uh, again we are watching the housing market this morning and also uh, this is the same head the new head is saying that he will be looking at options though to uh, reorganize the stock exchanges in Korea uh, saying that he does see uh, the this part as the most urgent issue in his plans as the head of the FSC so I'll be watching the brokerages names uh, this morning again and also, take a look at AK Holdings. AK Holdings is at its 52-week high now. Uh, Singapore Airlines again said yesterday that it is looking to buy a 20% stake in Jeju Air, which is held by AK Holdings, 86% uh, held by AK Holdings. So we are seeing another day of gains for this name of 1.2% at its 52-week high this morning. Also, take a look at the autos. We are seeing gains for Hyundai Motors and Kia Motors at the open, even despite some news that EU sales for February it came in below the overall market average. So we are seeing uh, gains for the blue chips at the open and a overall a higher open for the Korean markets in general. Let's check on the Korean markets at the open. Uh, Matt, over to you. June, thanks very much. The Australian market.